So in this tutorial on how to make a shoulder dart bust here, we're making use of an already made cup, so stay tuned. So the first thing I did was fold my fabric in two this way. Then I went down by one inch and drew a line across, very important, don't forget. So after that, I had to locate my bust point, my under bust point, my half length, and then I added two inches allowance. So know that what I'm making is a dress. It's not the top, it's a dress. So this is the half cut of this, this dress I'm making. So just draw lines across uh, the points that we've marked. Then after that, I'll be placing my shoulder measurement divided by 2 is 7 but I added half inch so when you divide yours, add half inch to it. Then for my neck, I went down by 6 inches down. And then opened it by 4. You can open yours by 3 or 3.5 three while choose 4. Rule a straight line on it. So after this, the next thing we do will be to cover the type of neck you want. You can go for a round neck or sweetheart neck, a block neck or so. So me, I'm going for a sweetheart neck. So I just use my French curve to cover my neck. I just started to label the lines I've drawn, my bust point, my under bust, my half length and the allowance. So the next will be to place the nipple to nipple point. So the nipple to nipple point is 8 divided by 2 which is 4. So instead of 4, you'll be adding half to the 4 which is 4 and half. So mark 4 and half down. If yours is 3, mark 3 and half. So after this, I'll be joining these lines with my ruler or freehand anyone. So now it's time for us to create our dart. On this side of this dress, we'll be adding 2 inches down from the under bust so from the under bust just add two inches if your bust is small you can make yours 1.5 inches that is if your bust is from 34 32 down so on this other side we're adding half inch so half inch and also join it so after you've successfully joined it you'll be making use of our french curve our French curve, if you don't have a French curve, you can also make use of freehand drawing. So just place your French curve on this because now we want to achieve a curve. So this curve is where our cup will be sitting. So just use your French curve and form a curve there. So now I'm trying to blend it well this way. Then on this other side, just use your rule to join it to the tip it won't give you a straight line it will give like a pointed line so just join it that way so after achieving the curve just go to your shoulder line that place will replace our shoulder measurement and i'll be adding two inches extra to it so mark another two inches and then with your rule we'll be connecting it to the bust point this way so connect the first shoulder uh, point we marked then go to the added to the extra to be added so also connect it to this point so we've been able to form our dart and this is the curve we have so just blend it so it won't be pointed so now it's time for us to place our shoulder measurements again so from this point where we mark our shoulder measurements just come in by half an inch and then on the other side where we added two inches, come out also by half. So when you've done this, you'll be making use of our uh, office pin. Just hold down that, that half with mat. So now you'll be using your office pin to hold it this way. So after we've done this, the next will be to place our shoulder measurements again. I'm just trying to arrange it very well. So to place our shoulder measurement again, we make use of your tape. Just mark that same seven and half we marked. Remember how we got it? Shoulder measurement divided by two plus half an inch. So mark seven and half. Then after marking the seven and half, come down by one inch. 
this is for the shoulder slant so just mark one inch under there come down by one inch then use your rule to join it to this line So now I'll be creating our armhole and from here I'll be marking my armhole point which is 8. So I'll just mark 8 then I'll use my rule to connect it this way. So this is our armhole. Then on this armhole measure and locate the middle so the middle of it is four so come in by half inch so people come in by one inch but i just decided to come in by half inch then use your rule to connect it So after creating the arm hole, just remove the pin we've used already. So now I'm using my rule to connect these lines where these are the lines we've made already. That is the shoulder slant. So I'm just trying to extend it very well. And then this is the original line we've drawn. That's one inch we made at the beginning. So I'm just connecting it very well. So now on that arm hole line we've made, which is also known as the chest line, I will just extend it. Because this is where we'll be placing our post measurements so just extend it with your row so guys at this point you are done with the drafting of this poster it's very simple and easy to do so the next we'll be doing just to place our main body measurements that is our bust waist and under bust measurements so on this chest line i've drawn replacing your bust measurement divided by four so I marked my post measurements here. So after marking our uh, measurements, add two inches for your dart allowance. So after adding the two inches, you'll be adding another two inches for sewing allowance. So this chest line also serves for the bust point so we will not be placing any other measurement for the bust point then on the under bust place your round under bust measurement plus two inches sewing allowance then measure the that we have here the space we have here is 2.5 that is two and a half inches so add two and a half inches that allowance on the under bust then on the half length place your half length measurement that is the waist measurement divided by four add 2 inch sewing allowance and then add 2.5 that allowance that is two and a half and then just connect the lines start from that allowance line just connect everything up to the armhole line so the last thing you do before you cut out this is to go to this neckline we've marked go up by one inch that is why it is very important for you to leave one inch when you start drafting so now we'll be connecting it to the first line we drew on this fabric so from this side just connect it as a slant this is our new shoulder slant and this is the one we'll be cutting out so now it's time for us to cut everything out So just watch carefully how I'll be cutting out this dart area. So after cutting, just notch the bust point line. So now we've successfully drafted our shoulder that post here 
so now it's time for us to create our back piece so for the back just mark your zipper allowance 1.5 or 1 inch then you just place the front that we've cut out already so we're placing it in the way that it looks like we've joined it already so for you to achieve that place the middle piece on this side piece this way you can go on to use your pin to hold it or you can just leave it that way just place it on top of it as if you've joined it already so basically the only measurement we're placing on this back is just for the back that all other measurements are the same with the front uh, side so after you've placed yours this way we'll just be adding one inch allowance which is for the darts so what you're going to do now is to go out from this side and mark one inch to this armhole point and then just connect it with your rule or you can use your free hand to connect it so the next thing we do is just mark our armhole remember on the front piece we went in by half so on the back piece we'll be going out by that same half so locate the middle there then with your rule just mark a line from the tip of the shoulder to that point and then with your um, french curve make a curve from that point and join it to the extra one inch we've added So this is for the back piece of this dress and then the next thing I'll be doing will be to locate my post point on the back so I just remove the side of the front locate it here so yeah I'm just trying to make a line on the end of this half length that is our allowance line sorry my camera couldn't get that side so after that from the zipper line we made mark your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so mine is four so I marked four here. If yours is three and a half, mark three and a half. So from that point we marked, draw a straight line to end at that bust point. Some people extend their dart to the chest line, it's also acceptable. So after marking the straight line, just come in by half an inch and also come out by half an inch on both sides. Then with your rule, extend it, make a line on it. It will give you a pointed line just make a pointed line on it so this is basically how to make a dart on a half length of a dress so after you've made your darts replacing the front piece on the back again so this time we'll be to cut it out and to create our neck so just place it as if you've joined it already So after you've placed it this way, the next will be to create your neck. If you want to use the same neck tie on the back also as you used on the front, you can just cut it out just like I'm doing mine. If not, you can just go on to draft your own neck on the back. So I want to use the same measurement of neck on the back and front. So I just started cutting it out that way. So don't forget to notch your zipper line so you know where you place your zip from. So I use this also to cut out my lining piece for the front and for the back. So we are done with the cutting part of this bustier and the next to be the sewing part of it. So for you to sew it, you'll be sewing these two sides on the middle piece. So for the stitching, place them on each other this way and then stitch from the shoulder point down to the allowance line. That is the end of this. And while stitching, make sure you are following the curve. So don't give it a pointed curve, just follow the curve as it is as we cut it out. 
so this is how it looks after I've stitched it so I stitched both sides by I just stitched with half an inch this way so for this particular bust we we make use of an already makeup which is this so after that the next thing we do will be to top stitch on this and what we are really top stitching on is on that half inch we used to sew this so we'll be top stitching on this dress so just watch how you place it just place it this way and top stitch from the front place it and top stitch from the front just top stitch by a little or quarter an inch just top stitch there to the end so I've stitched it down that is I've run the top stitch on it and I did on both sides of this fabric this is just to enable us place our cup on it so after you've top stitched the next thing is just to be to place this cup and for you to place this cup you'll be locating your bust point so for you to locate your bust point also just look for that notch we made that notch we made or you can make use of the line we've drawn already as you can see i'm seeing the lines already so i can just decide to extend it to my chalk the two notches we made on this center piece so if you're not seeing yours just mark it from the shoulder just step down by one inch then locate your main bust uh, point that is if you don't find the notch you made so after you've done this get your cup fold it and then mark the center of the cup so I'll just be using my marker to mark it this way this is the center of this cup we won't really follow the center but we mark it so you know the deepest part of it so this place where my finger is is the deepest part of this cup and that is where we'll be placing on the bust point that deepest point just hold it and then place it on that notch that is the bust point then draw your clothes up just draw the fabric up this way so there won't be excess there around the bust point so make sure you've drawn it up very well then you just place the tip of this cup on the dart line we've made use your office pin to hold it firm there don't forget to like this video subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so after you've held it there go to the lower side of the cup and also give it a very nice push just draw it up very well and then also use your pin to hold it to the dart line so i unintentionally pinned my tablecloth so i had to remove the pin there to pin it again without it holding the tablecloth i have a video on how i made the flay of this top link in my description button make sure you watch and subscribe so this is how this looks from the front, it's very relaxed and there are no excess on it, there are no excess fabric on it. To sew this cup to the dress, just top stitch on the cup, on that same line we made this top stitch, just go in little this way and then go in also from this top, just top stitch on that same line. So this is it, I've top stitched on it just a little and then don't forget to lock your stitchings when you top stitch on it just coming into the cup by a little this way so on the front of this dress nobody will know how you added your cup because you placed the cup and stitched on it exactly on that line where we ran our top stitch so the front part of this dress is laying very well you can see so the next two we to add our lining piece to this fabric and i've added the lining piece i've stitched them together just place the lining on the main fabric this way just place it this way 
and then we'll be stitching on this neck area from the shoulder to the neck up against the shoulder so this will be stitching on them so guys I've sewn this neck area to the shoulder and I made little notches on it to enable me to turn it to the right side perfectly so after turning this over this way you can just go on to iron it or better still just make a top stitch on the lines start from the shoulder also and run a top stitch on it to the neck and up again to the shoulder this way so guys I've run my top stitch on the neck area to the shoulder and also trimmed off some excess lining and this is how beautiful this top is looking with our cup sitting perfectly well on it so this is the final look you can just go on to add your back piece to it 